What I want to talk about today is one of my favorite ways of messing with the defense. We're talking about putting the running back in motion. And it's all about seeing what the defense is doing and they're going to tell us how they're going to cover this play. So what we're doing, we're putting our running back into a push motion. So they're moving away from us. They don't have to sprint. They're just jogging. And what we want to see is a reaction from the defense. What are they doing? Are they staying still and no one's doing anything? Or is a linebacker following them? All right. So let's say they do absolutely nothing. All right. That is a possibility. We're going to run a slant concept over here. All right. Double slants. And then we're going to run a swing out to the side. Now, if nobody moves, all right, if no one's adjusting to this push motion, our read key is this defender right here. They're going to tell us where to go with the ball. All right. They might come in, cover the slant. They might stay still. They might go out. All right. So we're looking over this area seeing where that defender is covering and we're going to throw the ball to where that defender isn't all right so usually if no one's moving we can throw this swing quite successfully or we can throw one of these slants all right see who's covered and then throw to the uncovered receiver all right let's say that they do react to this push motion all right generally it's going to be one of these inside linebackers because they have the responsibility of covering the running back all right so they'll start to bump out, all right? Then we snap the ball, and then you're going to fly out and follow that running back, all right? As soon as they move, they've vacated a lot of space. When they move out, it's going to be very easy to throw this slant in here. Again, our read key is still going to be this defender, all right? Because they might be really good and cover that slant. Then there's a good chance we can throw it to the other slant in behind them. Or... All right, they're gonna be still a bit too slow and we're gonna throw it right in here, right where that defender moved. All right, that's where we're throwing the ball. All right, there's also a chance this defender is really slow and then we can just throw the swing anyway. It didn't, didn't matter that they knew they were going out that way. We're just gonna beat them for speed. All right, so what we're doing with the motion is seeing what the defense is doing. All right, and this is starting to add the complexity of football. Let me show you another play that we can use with this push motion. So the next play that we can work, all right, we're still going to that push motion. So prior to the snap, we're putting them into motion. We take the snap and then we see where we're gonna go with the ball. Now, we're waiting for a reaction. We're gonna run the stick concept right here. So we've got a fade, we got a five yard hitch, and then we're running to the flats, all right? It's important that the flats is at one yard and the hitch is at five. So they're not too close together. All right, and that is going to put this defender here in conflict. Okay, so if there's no reaction from the defense, they, they're not bumping across when we go in motion. We know that we've got three receivers out here and only two defenders to cover them. So we're looking over here, someone has to be open. All right, three of us, two of them, we're going to win this. All right, maybe they react, maybe they bump this defender out. Doesn't matter whether they're going to go hook to curl go to the flats, all right? They might be covered, they might be open, all right? Let's say that the defense does a great job, all right? And they come out and they defend this. Three of them, three of us, we're all covered, all right? All we're gonna do backside is have a banana round. Now this is important, this receiver is getting across as fast as possible, all right? They don't wanna be um, doing any extra moves. We want them here at five to seven yards crossing the field, all right? They wanna be under this safety, all right? And they don't wanna run into any linebackers. They can go behind them, they can go in front of them. It doesn't really matter five to seven yards because when this defender reacts, all right, they're coming out. Now we might be covered three on three. The space that they came out of right here is gonna be open. So if they don't react, we're going to the original play side. And if they do start reacting, then we can come back to the middle of the field. Another option you can have with this, because they are bringing a linebacker out of the tackle box, all right, they're defending the flats. The QB can simply take off with this because we only have to block three people now, two D linemen, one linebacker. All the other defenders are out here defending this concept. QB can take off, all right? So the way I recommend it is we put them in push motion, all right? We see the reaction, all right? They're moving across, we take the snap. So we have a look, can we throw this stick concept? No, we can't. We have a look if we can throw this, all right? Can 
you throw this banana out. We can't throw that, all right? Maybe they're getting blocked here. Maybe they're just not gonna get there in time. QB can take off with the ball, all right? There's plenty of different options because there's gonna be a lot of space here for running because we've sent that defender out, all right? So it's really that easy. We're putting the running back in motion. The defense is giving us space and we're just gonna throw the ball to where the defenders are.